Lugs with a conventional straight pin are worn due to three reasons. One, softer lug material than pin material. Two, no pressure distribution in the lugs. Three, play between lug and pin. The first reason for lug wear is that the lug material is much softer than the pin material. The pin is typically induction hardened with a surface of HRC 55. The lugs are typically made in construction steel, which is much softer. Imagine, this green material is a lug and my thumb is the pin. When the pin creates a force on the lug, it deforms permanently, as that is the softest material. The second reason for lug wear is that there is no pressure distribution in the lugs. Imagine this green material represents a fresh newborn lug and the hose represents the axle. When it's mounted in the lug, the contact is only a narrow line at the bottom. The relationship is a little bit exaggerated to make it clearer to understand. When the pin is loaded and bent, the whole pressure hits on one point on the inside of respectively lug. As the pressure is higher than the lug's yield strength, the lug instantly starts to deform permanently. As seen, the deformation, especially on the inside of lugs, is essential. It is a little bit exaggerated, but the principle is exactly the same in reality. This picture shows a conventional straight pin mounted in two lugs. This is a pin, and these are the lugs. The diameter of the pin must be smaller than the diameter of the lugs, otherwise you could not mount it, of course. At an unused pivot, the difference in diameter is some tenth of a millimeter, but in this catch, the difference is exaggerated to make it more visible. As seen, the contact between the axle and the lug is actually only a thin line. When loaded, the axle is bent. The bending is very little, but do do a core. On this exaggerated sketch, it's clearly seen that the contact between axle and lug now is reduced from the line to single spots. As the pressure on both the line and the point is higher than the lug's yield strength, the lug instantly starts to deform. The wear process has started. The third and last reason for lug wear is the play between the pin and the lugs. The play is needed to enable the mounting of the pin. And the play makes it possible for the axle to hit with full force and power when the moving direction changes when the machine runs.